Numbers are great, aren't they? Well, maybe not everyone agrees, but when it comes to redox reactions, there are quite a few useful numbers like oxidation numbers. Thanks to them, redox reactions are easier to understand. Do you want to know what they are and how to calculate them? Pay attention. An oxidation number is a positive or negative number assigned to an atom to indicate its degree of oxidation or reduction. Let us understand some of the rules to be considered while assigning the oxidation numbers to an atom or a group of atoms. 1. The oxidation number of an element in the uncombined form and that of a neutral molecule are both 0. For example, the oxidation number of H in H2, O in O2, Cl in Cl2 and Br in Br2 are all 0. 2. The electrical charge of a monoatomic ion is its oxidation number. For example, the oxidation number of K plus is plus 1, Ca2 plus is plus 2, Cl minus is minus 1. 3. In most of the compounds of hydrogen, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. For example, the oxidation number of hydrogen in an H2S molecule is plus 1. But as an exception, the oxidation number of hydrogen in a metallic hydride, for example, potassium hydride, magnesium hydride and calcium hydride are considered to be minus 1. 4. In most of the compounds of oxygen, the oxidation number of oxygen is considered to be minus 2. But as an exception, it is minus 1 in peroxides. For example, in hydrogen peroxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. On the other hand, in fluoride compounds, for example, in oxygen difluoride, the oxidation number of oxygen is plus 2 and in dioxygen difluoride, it is plus 1. Here, the oxidation number of fluorine is minus 1 as fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. 5. The oxidation number of alkali metals in their compounds is considered to be plus 1. And the oxidation number of alkaline earth metals in their compounds is considered to be plus 2. 6. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements of a neutral molecule is 0. 7. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements in a polyatomic ion is equal to its electric charge. Let us calculate the oxidation numbers of some of the elements to understand these rules better. To calculate the oxidation number of sulphur in H2S molecule. The oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. There are two hydrogen atoms in the molecule of H2S. Therefore, the total oxidation number of hydrogen in H2S is plus 2. According to the rules, the sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements in a neutral molecule is 0. Thus, plus 2 plus the oxidation number of sulphur is equal to 0. Therefore, the oxidation number of S here is minus 2. To calculate the oxidation number of sulphur in SO4 minus 2 ion. The oxidation number of each oxygen atom in SO4 minus 2 ions is minus 2. There are 4 oxygen atoms in the sulphate ion. Therefore, the total oxidation number of oxygen is 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8. The total charge on the sulphate ion is minus 2. Hence, minus 8 plus the oxidation number of sulphur is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the oxidation number of S is plus 6. As we can see here, the oxidation number of the same element can be different in different compounds. Let's summarize. An oxidation number is a positive 
O negative number assigned to an atom to indicate its degree of oxidation or reduction. Some of the rules when we are assigning oxidation numbers are the oxidation number of an element in the uncombined form and that of a neutral molecule is zero. The electrical charge of a monoatomic ion is its oxidation number. In most of the compounds of hydrogen, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one and in most of the compounds of oxygen, the oxidation number of oxygen is considered to be minus two. The oxidation number of alkali metals in their compounds is considered to be plus one. And the oxidation number of alkaline earth metals in their compounds is considered to be plus two. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements of a neutral molecule is zero. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements in a polyatomic ion is equal to its electric charge. We have just seen that the oxidation numbers and the ions are heavily intertwined. In addition to indicating the degree of oxidation of an atom, they also serve to balance redox reaction equations. But how? Keep imbibing. We believe in you.